athletes. Greg Marshall, the head coach, is in the middle. We're going to ask him to make a statement on the game. And then we'll go to questions for all four gentlemen from Wichita State. Greg, please. Just a great day to be a, a part of Shocker Nation and to, to lead these young men into battle. Uh, I thought they played a beautiful basketball game. We calmed down about midway through the first half and stopped uh, taking bad shots and started to execute some offense. And um, both teams were in foul trouble in the, in the first half. But then once we did that, we, we got the lead and then continued to play with the lead throughout the second half, made the right decisions in transition, hit enough free throws and got enough stops to make it a, a wonderful victory. First question is right here. Jeff Lutz from the Wichita Eagle. Evan, is it, is it fair to call this the best game of your career so far? Kind of what, what allowed you to achieve the balance that you did in all areas? And Coach, can you just encapsulate uh, Evan's performance? Um, yeah, I'd say it's definitely up there. Um, I mean, but you know, I just got to get credit to my teammates. Uh, they were able to, you know, attack and find me, and give me shots, and then uh, it's just all around team effort. I mean, defensively and offensively. First of all, Evan is uh, nothing but a, a, a tremendous winner in every in every way, shape, or form. Uh, his great student, great person, uh, leader on campus, um, and a fantastic basketball player. Giving up three, four inches to uh, Perry Ellis most of the day. His high school teammate and fought him uh, evenly, I thought, and then stepped out and, and made four three-pointers and took one that was probably a little bit ill-advised, but he was feeling it such, uh, he was in such a good rhythm that, uh, that that one with about 25 seconds on the shot clock and three minutes to go in the game, uh, heck, if he makes that, he's five for six. So we'll take 67% from him. That's what our offense has been lacking uh, at times this year, just one more guy that can step out and make the shots, and all three of these guys stepped up and made them today. Greg Bob Lutz from the Wichita Eagle. Just the opportunity to coach veteran players, guys who have been in your system for a while, I thought that was a huge difference today. What, how much of an advantage is that? It's a huge advantage. I mean, these guys uh, know me. I know them. We kind of think alike at times. I mean, they they have a, a wonderful understanding of our system and, and what we're trying to achieve out on the court on both ends. But I thought, I thought we got some good contributions from our young guys today. I thought Zach Brown was good. I thought Bush Wamakota gave us some quality minutes today, uh, defensively especially ar around the rim. So, but for us, able to have guys that have been in our program two, three, four years uh, is a huge advantage. To Kale, with 4.39 left, you hit a two-pointer, and there was a timeout called, and Fred gathered everyone at half court for his own little huddle. What did Fred say? Um, Fred really was just trying to make us stay poised and just tell us to stay level-headed and just stay into the game and just keep the pressure on, and then we just went back into our huddle, and we just continued with our game plan. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't say too much. He just kept us poised like a leader. <clears throat> In the back, Paul. Uh, Ron and Takale, how much did you guys go to school on West Virginia's games against Kansas and how they were able to be physical and kind of push them out of what they wanted to do? How much did that play into today? Ron, you first, please, then Takale. <coughs> well, uh, credit Coach Forbes on the scout. Uh, he obviously watched games uh, where KU was uh, uh, not victorious in uh, Iowa State film, uh, West Virginia film. Uh, we, knew we, we knew we could heat them up. Uh, and free throws, after free throws, and a uh, cu couple dead ball possessions uh, like we do most teams. Uh, so I think we just got our, our pressure into the game, kind of slowed them up. Um, and I think our bigs did obviously a really good job of hand and foot in the post. Uh, like Coach said, uh, Perry's a couple, three, four inches taller than, than Evan. And we, we had the backside covered, us guards, and it was just a really good team defensive effort today. big a deal was it keeping uh, them from getting the ball inside and how were you guys able to execute that so well? Um, it was a pretty big deal because like uh, Ron just said, we, was get, we gave up a few inches and we just tried to push them out as far as we could and Evan and all of our bigs, Darius, every, uh, Bush, everybody pushed them out and we helped out as much as we could on the inside and we were successful at it. One question here, two on the right. Go, Bob. For, for all the players. It's been a long time since Wichita State played Kansas. Fans have made a lot of that. Media has made a lot of that. 
you sort of have been downplaying it. Now that it's over, does it have special meaning? We'll start with Ron and come this way. Uh, to me, this is probably one of the biggest wins I've been involved with being in a shocker. Uh, just because we don't get the opportunity to play KU um, and we're going to the Sweet 16, both tremendous uh, achievements. Um, really, really proud of what we have accomplished and thankful that I'm a part of this wonderful group. Um, to me, I mean, it's, I'm speechless. Like, I heard Fred say, like, in the locker room, he said, like, he didn't know what to feel. Like, this feeling was unreal, and he was right about that. And it's, this is one of the best wins that I've had as well. And we're just going to keep trying to advance, and that's our goal. And that win for Kansas and for Wichita in itself was a tremendous win, and I'm glad we got that win. So now we can move on. Um, yeah, this definitely uh, it's a, you know, one of the biggest wins I've been a part of. Um, definitely hits home being a Wichita kid, uh, growing up Wichita State fan. My family went to Wichita State, and it's, you know, it's, it's big for the community. And uh, I'm just glad we got the win and ready to move on to Sweet 16.